What's up YouTube? Mike here with another video. It's been quite a while. I've uh, been very busy with work and lots of other excuses, but at any rate, I got something I want to do a quick unboxing and first impressions of, and that is Apple's newest 2020 M1 MacBook Air. This is the complete base model, so this is the cheapest one you can get, and I wanted to get this one on purpose so I can see how it does, so you can see which one gives you the most bang for the buck. So let's get into it. All right, so let's pull this thing out of the bag. Now this is the first MacBook that I've had for about five years. So I'm obviously a Windows fan, a PC guy, um, but when Apple announced the new M1 chip, I was very intrigued, uh, mostly because of battery life, and then secondary to battery life for me was performance. Now I've used all the different surfaces, Surface Book, I recently uh, used, for the previous month, I've been using a Surface Laptop Go. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do a video on it. I just didn't have time. Um, but let's get into this thing. So, again, I'm only doing an unboxing because this is the first Mac that I've owned for a very long time. And like I said, this is the 13-inch model MacBook Air. So this one will set you back $9.99 unless you go to Apple.com. And then you can click on the little top portion. It'll say education discount and you'll be able to save a hundred bucks on it. And to be honest with you, I don't think they verify or have a way to verify. So at any rate, you can get this for a hundred bucks off. So this was $8.99 plus tax. Now, obviously if there's something specific you want me to test on this, um, that's one of the other reasons I want to do this video. Drop it down in the comments below, and uh, I'll be sure to try and get on to that. Um, the reason I wanted this was for video editing specifically. Um, see how it does on Final Cut Pro. And then with the M1 chip, you can actually uh, run iPad apps. So that's the other thing I wanted to test on that. So I'm already going to test that. So if there's something else you want me to test, let me know. Now, as far as gaming, people are going to say that this is not a gaming machine. No Mac ever really has been and ever really will be, but you'll obviously be able to play games that are on the App Store for the iPad or iPhone. So, right off the bat, let's get this thing out. And if you've owned a previous MacBook Air, there's no change physically from the design. It looks exactly like it. It's the same keyboard. Um, so let's set this aside for a second. And it's also got the same ports. You've got two, let me show you that. You've got two Thunderbolt 3 ports on the left side and on the right side, side you got a headphone jack. And that's it as far as ports go. Now, unfortunately, it may be a limitation of the M1 chip, but you're actually uh, not able to use an external GPU on this. So I'm not sure why, but that's what they said. So back to the unboxing so obviously you get the computer you get a USB-C cable uh, looks like it's fairly long you get your um, typical Apple literature and I'm gonna guess that there's some Apple stickers in here so let's take a look uh, yep you get your space gray Apple stickers now along with this space gray you can actually get this in silver and you can get it in uh, the rolls rose gold and then you get yourself a power brick if i can get this thing out and it's your typical um, this is a 30 watt power adapter so it should charge fairly quickly so um, yeah so that's that so that's all you get in the box so nothing too exciting i mean you get what you would expect you would get for buying a computer so let's set this off to the side and kind of See if we can do a closer up look. I don't know if this is going to zoom in or not, but again, you got your headphone jack. You've got your classic wedge design that you get with the MacBook Air, and then you get two Thunderbolt 3 ports. And unfortunately, the thing that Apple did away with uh, with the advent of the last gen MacBook Air was the light up Apple logo. Now, the MacBook Air has always been my favorite Mac. Of all time and that was mostly because of the keyboard the typing experience Boom. 
and just so I don't make a fool out of myself, let's see. Yes, it definitely does not light up. This is the first boot up and set up. As you can see, you got the backlit keyboard. You got a very large trackpad, which I do like. And again, this is an updated. Press the return key. I don't want to talk right now. But that is the updated keyboard, like I said. So it's better than the butterfly keys, but still a bit shallow for my taste. But at any rate, that's just a quick unboxing. And just give you a heads up, this video will be edited on this machine. So when you see this, I'm actually shooting it in 8K, just because I want to see if Final Cut will handle 8K on the base model MacBook Air. So again, this has got the M1 chip, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and then uh, it says 8 core CPU and then 7 core GPU. Now why this one has a 7 core as opposed to if you get the next tier up, it's an 8 core, or if you get the MacBook Pro, it's an 8 core. I read that it was because of manufacturing differences. So when they manufacture in that chip, if it's basically a perfect or near perfect chip, you'll get eight GPU cores. But if there's the slightest little defect, then one of the cores may not be working. So instead of tossing those out um, to save money, Apple just says, hey, it's still got seven cores. So let's put it in the base model MacBook Air. Boom. There you go. So don't know if that's true, but that's what I read. Um, makes sense to me, but let's see how the performance is. So again, if you have any questions on this, is there anything you want to see me test on this? Shoot it in the comments below, and I'll do my best to uh, test it for you. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, I would appreciate it if you do so. Thanks.